Hello, once again everybody, welcome back to Bioshock. I'm Necromanticer, and today we're finally going to be able to give Peaches his research camera, though it has been remarkably useful, so I'm a little bit loath to give it up. We've gotten a lot of extra bonuses from it, and here we are heading down into Fontaine Fisheries. The atmosphere is thick as always, the entirety of Rapture is still possessed of its own ideals, and we are simply making our way in that. And I use this hacked health station since I'm running a bit low on med packs after my last encounter with a big daddy. But it was a very profitable encounter, especially since I managed to get some pictures of a little sister out of it. So, great things all around. Really looking forward to next time I can head that way and get some more. Just picking up all this loose detritus. Wonderful stuff, really. I'm pretty sure I've actually been down there already, though, so I'm not sure how I missed that. Maybe I just had full supplies at the time. Hmm. This is... Oh, Wrench Lurker. This allows me to take... Uh, give extra damage to enemies who are unaware. And I'm considering replace. Yeah, I think it would be a better choice than Wrench Jockey, since Wrench Jockey is just a little bit of extra damage. And one of the only times I really want to be using my wrench is when I catch people unawares. Finally got the Spider Splicers upgraded again, which means I do even more damage. Oh, come now. Play fair. I'm just bad at this. There we go. Oh, does that not last very long? Goodness. She's just darting around all over the place, making this very difficult for myself. That's the one of the problems with these spiders. Oh, this is the boss spider splicer, I remember now. She's been following us throughout the level, making my job very difficult. But, she's also been giving me nice things every now and again, so let's give her her dues. I do have a bunch of extra damage because of all the research I've been doing, and she seems very distracted by my security drone, so... I'm doing very nicely for myself, I'd say. Was that a little sister I heard? It is! There's a little sister around here somewhere, though I don't actually think I'm in a good place for fighting her big daddy. I would very much like to visit that vending machine down there and loose, lighten my load some before I take her on. Seems I've already hacked this. Yes, Peach is really happy to have me around, doing all of his dirty work for him. I still got a bunch of extra money and not really sure what to spend it on. I'm very very full up on most stuff, so let's just get a little bit more film and supplies and see if we can find that little sister. Where is she? Really looking out for her, because I would very much like to take her out now that I just restocked, especially since Big Daddies, Rosie's included, tend to have a bunch of money on them. And so if I can, then I could pretty much replace most of the money I just spent. I don't want to continue on until I've cleared out all the little sisters of the area. As you can tell here, you can see exactly how many little sisters you've rescued or harvested and how many are left. And so, there's only one left in the area and I want to make sure I grab it before I head on to someplace that might be un... from which I might be unable to return, is the long and the short of it. And I know there's someone around here someplace, I just can't rightly tell where. Uh, it does sound like I'm heading away from the sound, so let's try looking over here again. Perhaps back in the more main atrium type chamber. Down here. I can hear her. It's like she's around here somewhere. Perhaps this way. Through the doorway? Hmm. Approaching a little sister. Oh, 
sister is a criminal offense. No, that's that's the old one. But there's a there's a plasmid over there that I want, so let's let's go and fetch that. Oh, hello there. That's quite mean of you, actually. Surprised they're already pulling out these sorts of stops. But, I'll take it. It is my due now that I'm actually trying to hack it. So, works for me. Get that all shored up, and now I've got an ally. Oh, and there's one all the way over there as well. Let's just take that one out. I don't want to deal with that while I'm looting. There we go. Oh, hello! I don't think he takes too kindly to that. He is already coming at me loud and proud. Oh, jeez. Let's set him on fire. Really not sure why he aggroed on his own, but looks like we're in for it now, one way or another. We've got to fight this. Pretty sure my... Oh, yeah. Let's let's get back up onto the high ground and sort of prepare ourselves with some special ammos. Uh, definitely want to avoid that. So can I can I kill it? There we go. He is not making this easy for us, but luckily he's fairly inaccurate. However, he really hurts when he hits me. So I I want to make sure I can keep something in between me and him if at all possible. Take these moments to reload and. Here we are in these final seconds of his life. That was close. Nothing from there. Gives me a bunch of money. And this final little sister for the level. Poor girl, but I will take pictures of her misery until the cows come home. Sorry, but even if it makes me a bad person, it's definitely worthwhile in the end. And I rescue her, so really, am I the bad guy? Or is the big daddy? These are the questions you need to ask yourself, folks. Because the big daddy is actually keeping her from being rescued. It's such an interesting dynamic that they set up. Whether or not her protector is protecting her from the right thing. Now we can pick up these supplies. First aid kits will heal a lot more. I think that's a little bit more useful than the Eve link. I'll just head that way later. I've got peaches to attend to. Goodness. What was going on down here that needed this much protection? Let's just get that out of the way and see if there's anything over in this pile over here. It looks like it would be a place that would have something. And yet, I am proven wrong. And I can't even jump up from it. Perhaps this corner. Because it really looks like this is a place where game developers would hide secrets. And I guess the- oh. I was going to say they just don't. But let's get a picture of this guy. Nitro Splicer's kind of annoying, so come on. There we go. Want to get the close-up action shot. Oh, multiple subjects? That's worrisome. Where's the multiple subject? Nope. Take you right down. Keyboard and mouse is such a great platform for FPS. Very precise. I didn't used to think so. I used to be a console gamer, but ever since I've started playing on PC, I can't imagine what I was thinking. Just feels so great, especially when you can very quickly line up those snapfire headshots. It's really a gratifying feeling. I still have a lot of money, but I don't want to blow it just yet, because this next area is probably going to give me some supplies for my troubles. And finally, Peaches. Knock, knock. The warp rat didn't get himself at. You've got something for me and my crew? Or are you just looking to get criticized? You set here a spell. I needs to set on some coffee. Maybe put on silverware and the like. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust it. Not for a second. And not just because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> to award to the wise. Old Peachy seems about as straight as a dog's hind leg. You keep your eyes open. Yeah, Atlas 
Doesn't trust him too far either. With good reason. They give you a nice little restock, and I don't know what happened, but uh, the game skipped a little bit of a dialogue where Peaches told you that you were going to have to sacrifice all your weapons in order to come on in. Let's get that all up to snuff, pick up my hypo and plasmid. Two fewer overloads versus two fewer securities, so it, it really doesn't matter which is which, just so long as I have them. Yeah, I have no weapons except for my wrench and my plasmids now. I'll get them back, but right now this is kind of what I'm stuck with. A nice little auto-hack tool. How kind of them. I'm actually developing a bit of a stockpile now, so I'm going to want to start using those on more difficult hacks. Just so I can save some time and not have to worry about possible backfires. First things first, this research camera is mine. Yeah, no, Peaches does not trust us. He thinks that we're doing Fontaine's work here and probably going to try and do away with us for it. However, I think he severely underestimates the kind of resistance I can put up. Ooh, hello, Peaches. Say goodbye. Or at least hello. Cheese, maybe. Take your pick. I need to get out of here and find something I can use to fight back, because right now, this is not cutting it. Oh dear. He's got a lot of friends, and he has a lot of drones, so let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, nothing. Nothing is behind door number one. Take him down. It gets so frantic, and the music in the background is just... Pumping everything along. Sent you, didn't they? No, nobody sent me. Oh, stop it, you. Let's get this guy taken care of. I believe he dropped a pistol somewhere if I can find it. No, doesn't look like it. There we go. There's my pistol. There we go. Let's get that back up. Only one pistol round? How does that even work? Stop it. Nope, nope, Peaches, Peaches, die. Oh, and there's one of them? Just, would you quit it? I'm, I would love it if I didn't, but you're making that very difficult. Stop it. There we go, that should kill you. That should kill you. Make it die, stop. Okay, can I hack that? Good grief. Oh, my goodness. Such a difficult encounter, because they take away all your weapons. Which makes sense, and honestly, it's an interesting mechanic, but... Gosh, does it just suck to play. And I think that's something that developers should take into account a little bit more often, is... It doesn't matter if it's a, quote, well-designed encounter, if no one wants to play it. You really need to think about that when you're designing your account. Oh, you know what? I don't think I need that. They give you a lot of supplies around here, and I'm pretty sure I can get by with what I can scavenge. Get him down. Perhaps Wrench Jockey would have been a little bit more useful here, but this is the path I've taken. So let's stick with it. Keep on, keeping on. Reload all that. No. That nonsense again. There we go. Get all that melted down. Ooh, beautiful. It's a very set corpse. Nothing. 
No, let's actually smoke those. And yeah, a lot of lot of Eve hypos around here, which makes sense given the scenario they want you to head into. But oh, stop it, will you? I'm pretty sure I've gone around everywhere, and there's my weapons and and ammo. That's the really important thing, is that they give you your ammo back finally. At least some of it. This is this isn't my. Where's the rest of it? I was very well off, and you just took most of it. Humbug. Oh! Oh, finally! This is a power to the people machine. Built by Fontaine Futuristics, if you can imagine that. This allows you to increase, uh, well, just upgrade a weapon, basically. Some of my favorites are shotgun damage, shotgun rate of fire. I would actually prefer increased shotgun reload. I don't think shotgun rate of fire is the issue, but shotgun's usually one of my favorite weapons. I think I'm going to go with the pistol damage. Or pistol clips. Eh, probably the pistol damage or the machine gun damage, since those seem to be my go-to weapons for really bigger foes. If I can get this pistol damage up to enough then I could quite easily take on enemies that would otherwise pose a challenge if I just focus on headshots. Where am I heading from here? I'm headed that way, so let's try the other way and look for secrets first. As I am wont to do. There we go. That sounds like a personal problem, fella. Oh, stop it, you. Action shot, that's nice, but there we go. And dump all your contents and kill yourself. See what I care. Whew! That encounter took a lot out of me. It was really hectic, and I'm not even all that proud of how I dealt with it, but that's the game we play. Let's get all that set up. Sadly, there isn't. You are now reaping the reward for teaming up with a sociopath. Fontaine, while a very powerful man, is not a man you want to be in league with. He was very, very good at backstabbing and conniving you can't in all the right ways. Will find you. Hey, fuck Fontaine. You don't fuck Fontaine. Fontaine fucks you. Best line in the game right there, personally. You don't fuck Fontaine. Fontaine fucks you. <laughs> it really is just such a great line. It conveys everything it needs to. We're finally through the fisheries, and here we are coming into... We're finally through the fisheries, and we're finally coming to Atlas's family here in Neptune's Bounty. Their submarine should be coming right up, and from there we can basically engineer our escape. If we could keep our presence of mind long enough. Right outside the submarine bay, but I can't get in. I need you for that. My family can't be more than a hundred yards away. Yes, we're definitely going to be heading right on over and dealing with that after I search everything, of course. There is an order of operations to be had here. Come on, anything in this new mo? I'm pretty sure the rest of my supplies just pretty much vanished into the ether. I'm kind of upset about that, but alas and alack, nothing to be done about that now. And they stole most of my special ammo. That's really annoying. But I suppose I shouldn't expect anything less. This is a rapture. It's not supposed to be fit. Oh. 
I think... I think I hit a, uh, explosive barrel rather than hitting that, but it did the job. We all come down here. Figured we all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like a, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey, it's not like things could get a lot worse. Mm, that's another one of the issues with how Rapture was set up. It was built in with too much disparity. Finally gonna get to meet Atlas. You had oh. your fun, but enough is enough. If you press that button, you'll learn what it means to truly be my enemy. Pretty sure I'm a few steps ahead of you there, Andrew, but uh let's let's see what you've got for me. I would love to see what it's like to be your enemy. You've done nothing for me. Not that Fontaine has either. But Atlas, now there's a guy. Oh. Pretty sure that was not supposed to happen. No, no, something is definitely off about this whole situation. Oh dear. Oh dear. So dark in here. Andrew? Your friend could look up and see. What did you do? Maybe you could warn him. If only you could do oh. something, anything. Oh dear. Except just stand here and watch him die. Splicers! Oh dear. Oh, I think there was someone there. There was. Beautiful. Oh, where'd she go? There we go. So long as I can just keep up a steady stream of fire, I'm bound to hit something. Very worthwhile. I don't need stealth. I just need a machine gun. For that. But there we have it. That's you dealt with. Let's get a nice little heal up from that. No need to hack it. I'm probably going to reach maximum money again sometime soonishly anyways. I'm going, I'm going. There's loot, though. I mean, come on. Can't expect me to pat. Oh, dear. Hello there, lady. Don't mind if I just backpedal my way on up here. There we go. Oh, I'm running low on this ammo, so let's switch to something a bit spammier. There we are. Andrew's fam- Andrew, uh, Atlas's family should be right through there. Can I- can I not get through there? Let's- let's fix this. Let's see what this has to say before I finish this on up. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have waited. You ooze in like an assassin, and then you try to sneak out like a thief. You're no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? There's two ways to deal with a mystery. Uncover it, or eliminate it. 
Somehow I don't think he's going to do too much uncovering. And sadly, that does not bode well for me. The Irish pork pie offered me a deal. I flip him Fontaine and I walk out of here. That simple. How do I know that fat fuck isn't Fontaine's guy? How do I know they're not all Fontaine's guy? Fontaine's got Adam, and everybody wants it. Brian's got a whole lot of talk and a nice suit. Even down here, any idiot can see which way the wind is blowing. Yeah, that's that's really the issue that Andrew Ryan came up against, is that eventually his capital wasn't what was in fashion. People wanted the Adam, they wanted change, they wanted control just as much as he did. And that's what Fontaine was offering, not him. But he had power, and so that's where the fall of Rapture happens. That little disparity there. But more on that in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again next time, and you all have a great day.